question, go right ahead and unmute. Hey, Adam, it seemed like there was a clear focus on that new extra innings rule tonight with relievers starting a uh, runner on second base. Do you like that rule for extra innings? No, not at all. Uh, it's just, it's not, it's not real baseball. So get used to it, but uh, I don't, I don't particularly like having a runner out there that I haven't, you know, earned to, to, for him to be out there. So it's not my favorite rule, to be honest. Does that change? I know you haven't done it in an actual game, but does that change your mindset significantly when you get on the mound and there's a runner on second base? I mean, you know, I mean, uh, not really. I think the biggest thing is defending the bunt, but uh, I'll still be going out there trying to strike the guy out and not let them steal third and, you know, keep it there because then, uh, you know, obviously one hit will win the game for us uh, if I keep him at zero. So I don't know if it changes a whole lot. It's kind of like, you know, I come in plenty of times with guys on base, but I think it's just uh, figuring out if they're going to bunt or not. Overall, what do you take away from your outing today? I thought my stuff was good. I thought it was uh, ticked up a little bit closer to where I want it. And uh, that was the biggest thing. I felt good physically and mentally. And, um, you know, that's all I was really trying to get out of it. So I was, I was pleased. Thank you. Thanks. Ron Blum, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. Hey, Adam. How are you? Good. Hi. Or a pitcher like you who's used to coming into games where either the crowd is cheering you or booing you, is it going to be work to come up with the motivation internally to pitch in quiet ballparks that are more like training than games? I, I don't think so. Um, I do like pitching in front of the home crowd, especially with two strikes, you know, when they get loud and all that. But I don't think that the crowd is that much of a factor in my focus level. Uh, usually it's just the situation, you know, you're pitching in a tie game or a one run game. You know, you have a lot of internal drive at that point to uh, lock in and do what you need to do. So. I don't think the crowd is a huge factor as somebody might think. I mean, I've been working my whole life to kind of block out the crowd, so now I don't have to try as hard for that. What have been the biggest challenges for you the last two weeks in getting into a routine with all the conditions in the protocols? I think just, um, just, just, just the protocols. I mean, just trying to get used to them, uh, living in a whole new normal here, um, trying to find some level of comfort, even though there isn't any. And um, at the same time, try to focus on what I have to do, uh, you know, between the lines. So uh, I think it's getting a little easier. You know, I know what to expect every day now, at least when I come to the park. But um, for me, I just really want to focus on my pitching and um, not as much on the other stuff. So I have to make that other stuff second nature. Thank you. You're welcome. James Wagner, you have the next question. Go ahead. Hey, Adam, yeah, on the same heels of that question, I guess just, I mean, a lot of people, experts, health experts say that you guys are more likely to be, you know, to come in contact with the virus, become infected away from the field than you are here, given all the measures. Like, what have you kind of done at home to make sure that, you know, like, that you do stay extra safe, um, especially, you know, being from New York, seeing the way the city has handled it too? So what are you doing above and beyond, I guess? Yeah, uh, in our family, you know, we've pretty much stayed isolated as much as possible. Um, we've wore our masks in public every time, um, done lots of sanitizing of things, a lot of wiping of groceries and leaving packages out for 24 hours. A lot of the information has changed over time, but pretty much everything that you can do to be as safe as possible. We don't want this to affect our family in any way or anybody around us in our, in our community. So just trying to do everything uh, to the letter of the law that CDC puts out and um, trying to be consistent in that way and set a good example. Take the next question from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney. Hey, Adam, you don't usually get the opportunity to talk to the other hitters after you, after you face them. So during these outings that you've had, what's some of the feedback you've gotten and how has it helped you? Um, I've uh, talked to a few guys after I faced them, uh, mostly just kind of wondering why something worked. Um, you know, uh, I, I struck Hicks out on a fastball a couple, couple games back, and it was a pretty good pitch to hit, and I want to know why. And he just said, you know, he was, he was looking for something else. So, you know, it's good to know that sometimes they'll come off the fastball. And Talkman, you know, I've talked to him every time I faced him, trying to get a gauge of uh, what his approach would be against me, that sort of thing, because he's a smart guy. That's the main stuff, just kind of try to get in their mind a little bit. I mean, I can see what happens, you know, in, in real time, but it's more about what their thought process was. Thanks, Sweeney. 
take a question from Marley Rivera. Marley. Marley. Thanks very much for giving us a few minutes. At, at this point, do you believe the Yankees have an advantage in a shortened season because of the amount of elite relievers that you guys have in your in your bullpen, even if I rolled this Chapman is not able to go? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we have a great, great staff overall, like, you know, and I know this year is going to be shaped a little different because of the shortened season. I feel like we're gonna be able to utilize everybody. Um, and I, and we are deeper than most teams. So I, I do think that's an advantage, you know, in any length of a season, but especially in a year like this, where, uh, maybe the starters aren't ready right out of the gate to go seven, eight innings, you know, we can kind of go to our strength, uh, right away and run with it. 